stevedores are frustrated and angry. Yes, I'm angry with the port because they are not doing nothing for us, you know. And wow. we are here standing in solidarity with our union. You know, we are here standing in solidarity with our union because the port is playing the game with us, and that's why we are out here. Is it frustrating? Really frustrating. How frustrated are you? Woo! The only next thing to do now is to take a gun and shoot someone. That's it. Serious talking? Yes, that is it. There was a standoff today between the stevedores and the Port of Belize Limited PBL. The crux of the matter is monies. Millions of dollars that the stevedores say PBL owes them. We need a redundancy for, for sugar. We need our sugar money. That's how we are out here for. We need the money. You understand? Because right now, it's a, right now it's a critical times. Right now it's COVID times. Nothing not happen. You know, just to spend money and not make money. How has it affected your livelihood? Well, it has affected my livelihood bad. Cause the sugar gone, there's farewell for the sugar, and that's what that is my livelihood. And we are here standing up for our sugar money. The giant can't beat David. I never did beat David yet. He never did beat David. They want to take me for an idiot that we for just lay down and go home and get in for we millions of dollars where we sweat for, and it no one help me. We want to keep the strike. We will keep this strike and we are see how much millions they will lose by not making for their vessel work and for their income. So then you do the maths again. If you will lose 6.5 million, I have win or done. Because they been do it when we strike. They been do it. Who and um, we lose two boat cars, two million this time. So why didn't you avoid all of that? Find some means and method because you have money in there. They have petty cash, they have all kind of money, they got party, they got all kind of thing. We need invited to Christmas party. Christmas party gone again this year. I don't say nothing out of Christmas party. But yet they tell me we are port, we're working for the port. And whenever the port have anything, we know are not invited to any event. But we don't worry about no event. We work for we own, for we pay for feed with family. And no winter you make one man where to feed the family. Can't feed at home in the feed out. And for the last of sugar, as the agreement where we got in at 6 of March 2021, we want to go through this. This man called to we and bring one. What I call it one. Um, my proposal to we for give we half of we own money. Servants pay, right? For we own money where we. That you know the talk man about sugar money for we. That for we own money, for we own four percent, he want to give we half. Uh, we not so dumb and fool. He want to cut gang. For some minimize the gang men that we are make more money back our thing for the last of sugar. That not got none for though. We have an agreement where we sign for every three years when 2023 come, they can come with a proposal if they want we want to sit down and see if we can work on that. But we need to get compensated for the sugar. Uh, we call it put the boy I think my boy explained to us um, redundancy, but we change the name to separation package, right? Because by right we feel that for all the years we work sugar and the last of that gone now, we believe we should get one compensation for that. That's all that we fight what we fight for and when they don't sign, I agree to make when negotiate pan, but like then I want to talk to you about that. Sugar barges are now heading to the Big Creek port and for the stevedores in Belize City, that means loss of income, which makes their demand for the monies even stronger. Our initial proposal to them was we wanted $5 million. The port, they are First thing is, we don't have anything to give you. Uh, they then subsequently made a, a very unusual proposal to our members, which was really aggravating. Included in their proposal was a request for us to cut gangs. And can you imagine that what was suggested to them was, if you cut gangs, and you get rid of about 28 or 30 stevedores, then the rest of who you who are there will work more often and so you will make more money. And that is our compensation for you because sugar went. Just, just imagine that that was written to us. Um, it really, uh, it, that was really like a low blow, to be honest. I, I couldn't believe that that was put to us. Um, additionally, what they did put forward was that they were prepared to give the members their retirement savings, which that money is theirs. So they were suggesting or they were proposing that the compensation to our members be their very retirement savings that they had earned. So from top to bottom, it was really, it was really a, a, an unhealthy, um, bad fit 
situation. And at this point, the Tiverers want the Prime Minister to help them out. We appealed to the Prime Minister, said, listen, we know the critical nature of the port. We know where we are as a community, as an economy. We understand all these things and we try to preach that to our members. Let's act responsibly. So we are coming to you. Listen, my members voted unanimously. And we are saying to you, can you intervene? Can you resolve? Can we get movement? Can we get a respectful proposal? If we income tax every year to this country, I believe they take away six to seven thousand dollars from a hundred and seventy. How much, man? Seventy-seven, man. So uh -huh. do the maths again: a hundred and seventy-seven times six thousand dollars. That's what we donate to the we country each year. If our income tax comes at twelve, eleven thousand, we get a dividend of four thousand or five thousand over the board. So the rest is given back to the country. Now what can the country do for us? PM, you know we're there with your government. Take care of business. Reporting for Love News, Hippolyta Novello.